How's it going everybody? Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new 2122 Upper Deck The Cup coming out later this week. In this video we're going to be diving into some of the new information surrounding the product including some of the new sets, designs, and some hidden gems to look out for. The first thing I gotta mention this is by far the longest overdue product we have ever waited for. Thankfully it is the final release of 2021 so we will no longer have three different rookie years coming out at once. Now taking a look at the box price we've seen a slight decrease from the release day pricing of last year. Looking back at 2019 the release day price was only $800 and then we saw a massive spike in 2021 which came out the gate at $1,500 and this year we've seen it come back down just a little bit we're going to be looking around the $1,100 mark of course this is still a very high price tag but like I've said in the past it's awesome for hockey collectors because we only have one undisputed best product it never changes it's always the most desired cards while other sports have several products in the thousands of dollar range all fighting for that number one spot cup boxes are definitely not the best bang for your buck I wouldn't even rank it in the top 50% of upper deck products value wise to be honest but in terms of excitement and the risk versus reward it is a thousand percent the best product with the biggest opportunity to pull some of the biggest cards of the year now diving into the checklist let's take a look at some of the top tier chases for this year the first set that caught my eye was limited logos for the first time in eight years Wayne Gretzky does have a limited logo card this is a massive massive chaser to look out for with his own will fetch on the secondary market. There are also a really good amount of big name rookies like Caulfield, Zegris, Byfield, Raymond, and Moritz Sider that all have limited logos. We have never seen this many rookies in the set because these are all game used patches and I assume Upper Deck was only able to get them in due to the product being delayed. Another big set is the 0304 Exquisite Collection Tribute Patch Autographs and we have one really big name that stands out this year which is Gordy Howe. Having seen Gretzky and Lemieux's version of this card in last year's cup there was only one name on that level and thankfully we get to chase after it this year. It's really cool to still see him having these monsters cards in 2023 even though we passed in 2016 shifting our focus to the cup rpas let's take a look at our short prints numbered out of 99 these are supposed to be the best six players of the rookie class and this year we have cole caulfield trevor zegris Quinton Byfield, Moritz Sider, Lucas Raymond, and Spencer Knight. With the recent explosion of Quinton Byfield, I would say Upper Deck was pretty spot on with five of the six names here. Spencer Knight is still young and developing, so I think it's too early to say for him right now. As for the RPA out of 249 set, we have some really good names to look out for, like Jeremy Swayman, Cole Caulfield, and Mason McTavish, just to name a few. In total, there are about 10 great names in the 249 set that will make for those easier RPAs to hit with a great secondary market. Taking a look at the new card designs, we have two very questionable designs that people have been talking a lot about first one is the new basic set and it just looks weird to put it nicely it reminds me of something from like school like a venn diagram it's really just not something that fits into the cup design in my opinion also one i noticed that surprised me a bit was the base set the rpas look great but if you remove that patch window they remind me a lot of this year's upper deck premiere with the vertical image and all the information to the left side of the card last time we saw this in a cup base would have been 12 13 or 07 08 back in those years we didn't have that new premiere design aside from those two i think every Everything looks really nice this year. A couple of my favorites are the emblems of endorsements, the exquisite endorsement relics, and the exquisite RPAs number to the jersey. It's crazy how big that patch window is on these exquisite RPAs this year. It's going to make for some insane patches. These might be some of the most desired cards in the product. The biggest cards in the product will still be the rookie shield autographs from both the base set and the exquisite set. But along with the rookies, the vets and Hall of Famers should fetch some insane numbers as well. I'm a Legends collector, and unfortunately, there's only three Hall of Famer shields to hunt after this year, being Patrick Wall, Jerome. Rome McGinla and Timu Solani. We still have all the current big name superstars. I'm super excited to say that we partner up with a big collector to offer a few bounties on release day for our break. If any of these three cards on screen are pulled in our release day live stream, we're going to be offering the bounty amount on the screen to whoever hits it. It's hard to say what these cards are currently valued at, but this gives you guys a rough idea on how big these cards actually are. We have two new booklet sets being the player plaque booklets and the dual ticket autographs. There are some really big names in these sets, including the Gretzky Lemieux, which should be a massive 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 card unfortunately we don't have a big list of the fan favorite monumental booklets like last year last year we had so many to chase after we were spoiled this year there's still some big ones with a lot of updates and the new design to the horizontal booklet definitely a big change to one of the most desired cards in the product also in upper decks preview post i noticed a patch set that i was hoping they would make for quite some time now the rendition relics falling about one in every three cases these are going to be awesome taking the great rendition artwork design and including some relics into it is going to make for a great combo also aside from the basic set there are only two 
two new autograph sets this year, which are the strapped in Jumbo Relic Autos and the Stanley Cup Titleist. As always, the Cup is just such an awesome product, and I am so excited to dive into these tomorrow to hunt after all those big cars and the 101s. Make sure you check out our live stream tomorrow. We're going to be live streaming all day long, including our release day box opening that's going to be going up tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern. For opening up any of the new product, I wish you guys the best of luck. Appreciate everybody watching this video, and we will see everybody on the next one.